All right, images and basically a zoom morph trick. Let's take a look at this thing because this is kind of fun. Basically, what we're going to do is we're going to take a PowerPoint presentation and we're going to use this cool morphing trick and we're going to create this. And I got a couple sample slides here for you. So here we have a slide and just kind of watch what happens in this as I click through here. Right, and if I back that up, you can kind of see some of the elements that we're going to talk about. So I got some big bold images, and notice, like right down here, we got a little guy, and he's kind of, oh, for lack of a better term, I'll call it on deck. <laughs> so we're going to use the morph transition to kind of bring each one in in kind of a dramatic zooming fashion, right? So what do you guys think of that? Is that kind of cool? I like it. And it's just going to give us a little bit more in terms of how to use the morph transition. And the reason I like that is because let's do this, right? So certainly there was a whole bunch of animation going on there. I'm going to open up the animation pane. And what we'll see, the beauty of morph, is as I click through here, there is not an animation to be had anywhere. Morph does it all. So we're going to work on maybe creating some skills here. Let's set this up just a little bit. So to get started, one of the kind of keys and the secret sauce here is that these images have transparent backgrounds, right? In fact, let's try this. Let's grab this box here. If I drag it over and behind Maggie the Wonder Dog here, what we'll see is that she is cut out, right? So that's kind of where this trick starts. And to kind of pull that off, all I did was I went to one of my favorite resources called remove.bg. And in fact, let me put a link to that in the chat box for you because this is like my favorite thing. And I have some tutorials on what it is and how to use it. In fact, one of those in the chat box also. Here's a little video tutorial on remove.bg. So we're not going to get into that. All I did was I got a bunch of pictures, and some of these are off of pixels. This is my dear departed friend Barney the Gentle Giant. And, you know, so some pictures are mine. This is my buddy Booker, who's an awesome dog. And again, I just pumped these into remove.bg and came up with, you know, a bunch of images that I might want to use and all of them have this transparent background. So that's all kinds of fun and everything, right? So let's um, see about maybe duplicating this. So I'm going to create a new slide. We'll just make three slides like the sample here. We'll pick a few of the images that we might want to use. I'll let you use the same as the samples here. So first we got, what do we got? We got Maggie the Wonder Dog. Let's copy her and paste. Okay, and I'm just going to kind of layer out. I'm going to make her nice and big and bold. Zoom out on the canvas, in fact. All right, so we'll do a little something like that. And also for this, we're going to use some text. And in the interest of time, I am just going to grab this little collection right here. Again, since there's no animations or anything, I can do that. Right? This is no big deal. A couple of text boxes and a shape in the background. All right, so I have my first slide. Let's uh, duplicate it. And then on my second slide, I'm just going to create another one. So here we'll pick uh, another image. Let's pick this one. Control C, Control V. And again, I'm going to lay this out the way I want. Let's move our text boxes over. We'll see why in a bit. And let's get all set up and positioned here, kind of the way we want. All right? And then we need one more slide. Well, let's duplicate it again. Now, keep in mind, I'm duplicating these, but just to kind of save time and not have to read, copy, paste, you know, stuff like that. 
Uh, we'll get all the more stuff racked up here in just a bit. So let's move our text and let's pick our last image which is probably my most awesome favorite this handsome guy or gal and let's paste it All right. okay so now we got three slides think of it as like the flow of it right and on our little images here since I'm using a white background what you can do is maybe we add some effects like a drop shadow or something like that I don't think I'll belabor that. Let's just kind of concentrate on the meat and potatoes of the matter here and kind of how we're going to make things move and create this cool zoom effect. All right, so let me see. What do we need to do here? On the first slide, what I want, if you remember from the sample, is we're going to have this guy start off real small and then kind of come in to this full size slide. So let's copy this and let's go up to our first slide and let's paste. Right? What we want to do here is make this guy smaller, hold the shift key, bring him down, and maybe put him somewhere like this. Okay, and to this, I'm going to add some effects. So let's right click on it, go to format picture and let's see let's set the transparency to about uh, I don't know 70 something like that to mute it down a little bit and what else do we want to do let's also add us under artistic effects let's add a blur Right, and I think we'll even kick that blur up just a little bit to maybe like 20. Right, so what I'm kind of going for here, what I want is I want it to look almost like shadowy, right? Like it's way kind of in the background. Then, since we copied this image and pasted it on the first one, PowerPoint knows that it's the same image. So what does Morph do? Morph takes that which once was on the first slide and then morphs it into this. Okay, so on the second slide, let's go ahead and add the morph transition. And if we kind of look at the slide in totality then, all of this stuff, is of certain sizes, certain proportions, and certain positions. Morph takes this stuff, right, and then makes it into this stuff. Well, part of that means moving the text from here to here. Morph does that, right? Let's preview it. There it goes. And taking our little guy in the background and bringing them up to full life. Okay, Now, what I also want to do, I want to take this big image and I want it to zoom out. So, let's copy. Let's go to the second slide. Let's paste. And let's zoom way out here because what I want to do is I want to make this like ridiculously big and I want to move it off the screen. Well, let's think about what that's going to do. This is what once was. The image is in the slide and on the morphed version, what's it going to do? It's going to take it from this and grow it and boost it off the slide out of sight. So let's see if that happens. In fact, let's kick this in the slideshow mode. Alright, so here's our starting. What's going to happen? Text is going to move over. Maggie's going to grow and fly out to the right. And new pup is going to come into focus and be the next slide. Boom! I love that. Zero animations. Okay, so let's kind of continue that little adventure and think about what we need to do next. On the third slide, 
again, just for dramatic effect, I'm kind of moving things from side to side, aren't I? Right, so got the big image on the right, big image on the left, and moving the text back and forth. You know, because morph moves stuff, and that's part of the coolness. All right, so what do we need to do here? We need this guy to become or be our little guy in the background, our little guy waiting. So let's right click on it, copy. Let's go up here, let's right click and paste. Let's make him small. Like he's kind of down here. And I think, let's try this. Let's go up here, let's click on this one. Let's go to the Home tab and let's format paint some of the properties onto this guy. Now one of the properties that doesn't seem to format paint, I'm going to right click, let's go to format picture, let's go down to artistic effects on the effects tab and what you'll notice is the format painter doesn't apply the artistic effects so I still want that blur so you gotta kinda add that manually. I don't know why that is, but it is what it is. Okay, so now let's just keep thinking through the process because that's how morph works. <laughs> and you know, if you, if you get screwed up, you just have to go like, go back a slide and say, what is here and what do I want to be here? You know, what do I want to have happen? All right, so let's see, where are we? We got our guy here. It's going to morph into our big picture. And I think that's going to work. So let's add the morph transition. And there it goes, right? Actually, I'll just pause there for a second. Uh, any questions on that? I know it's, you know, morph takes a little bit of getting your head wrapped around for sure. But as you can kind of see, once you understand the workings and the goings on here, it really can do some cool and interesting things, right? So let's take a look. Uh, let's preview this again. I'm going to go to the second slide and let's preview it. Now, one thing that I... I want to try to fix here is watch our little guy right here when I do the morph. Okay, it, what it does is it fades in, but what I'd like it to do is to kind of almost seem like it's coming from somewhere else to complete this zoom, zoom, zoom thing, you know, not just fade in. I mean, this could certainly work, but let's try one other little trick and see if we can't make it a little more interesting. Uh, let's see. How should we do that? So I want this guy to kind of come up, right? So let's think about that. Right now, he just fades in because why? Anybody know? Why does he just fade in? Because he doesn't exist on the previous slide. M what does Morph do? Morph takes that which once was and makes it into this. Okay, so let's do this. Let's copy our little guy here. Let's go up to the previous slide. Let's paste him and let's have him be off screen, off the slide. So what's going to happen? Let's find out. <laughs> so now when we preview it, notice that this guy isn't just going to fade in. See? He comes up. He comes up from the bottom. And I think it's just a little more interesting effect. Right? And what else do we need to do here? We need to do Let's go into slideshow mode. Uh, we're missing, what are we missing? We're missing this one zooming out. So let's copy, paste, make it huge, and zoom him out. 
off the screen. All right, I think we got it. <laughs> there we go, right? Once you kind of get the hang of stuff, but this is kind of a good example, I think, of using multiple techniques and stuff like that to get things going. Questions? Comments? Or you can watch the replay and kind of play along with this. In fact, what I might do is maybe I'll just grab the demo slides here, put them into a separate deck, and I'll put those with the replay. Yeah. Morph is all kinds of fun. I like it. Any closing questions? Going once? <laughs> Going twice? All right. I uh, hope it was useful tonight. Thanks for coming, everybody. And I'll see you next time. All right. Thanks, everybody.